It's been two years since Chef Steve Schepetti took over the River North Spot Beyond. He's certainly been known to get creative with his specials. Let's look at the candidates and their parties and have some fun with the food. In honor of the presidential election this November, Beyond is featuring a Democrat versus Republican menu. So you get an appetizer, you get an entree, and you get a dessert. A dessert. Three courses All for $20? For, all for $20.08. And here's how it works. You have to choose one menu, Republican or Democrat. Since our city tends to lean a bit left, I thought we'd start with the Democrat menu and your first appetizer choice, the Billy Carter Beer Cheese Soup. Beer, cheese, a little bit of cream, uh, uh, and some definite spices. Kennedy clam bake, which is my favorite because we really want to... Of course the clam bake is your favorite. And of course, nothing better than going down along the beachside, sitting alongside your big house mansion, putting all the clams in a pot. And, you know, Al Gore saved the salmon. salmon. Yeah, exactly. Right. This is a uh, herb crust. It's you know green. It's a little brown right now, like the earth is, I guess, because with all the global warming going right. on. Oh yeah. Great asparagus. A uh, great salmon fillet. This salmon looks delicious. <sighs> Obama's green plate. That's, that's called. Right. Or mom's mashed potato with with a grass-fed beef from Illinois. Can't go wrong. Bill Curtis's Bill Curtis's grass-fed wow. beef. A nice product there. Steak for change. This is a uh, Bill Clinton's cherry pie, so it's a. Uh, right. How inappropriate! <laughs> I don't know if it was right. ever proven, but you know. Anyway, the Republican menu. I think the Republican menu is over the top, real robust flavors. Yeah. And do I? I don't pay any taxes on the Republican menu. Is that right? <laughs> taxes are down. Nixon's cover-up soup. Cover up the vegetables. We want to make sure those vegetables stay airtight. Not everybody's going to get to those. I think I better shave. I am not a soup. This is Cheney's Quail Hunter Surprise. I think Dick would like this. I think Don't so. you think so? I, I think people are making the wrong conclusion about a tragic accident. So this is the Ronald Reagan show-stopping sole. Sole with hollandaise and... Uh, and then with a side of Russian caviar. Mr. Gorbachev. Tear down this sole. I didn't know this. John McCain's favorite food is barbecue ribs. What is, that is one big huge beef barbecue rib. It's a beef short rib. My <laughs> friends, that is one big barbecue rib. This is a uh, Palin's Baked Alaska. It's actually an ice cream surrounded by a Thai meringue, and then we torch it. And the cool thing is, you can actually see Russia from the dessert right now. <laughs> I'm not touching that. At the end of dinner, you're going to be asked to fill out a ballot picking the party that will win the presidency. If your candidate comes through, Beyond will email you a gift certificate for 50% off your entire next meal. What did you order tonight? Um, I did Democratic. Well, what made you choose the Democrat menu? Just what was on it. It had nothing to do with your political affiliation or anything like that? <laughs> We're not going to go there. I had the... Uh... Angry calamari. You didn't choose to go with the political menu, why not? Independent. You're independent. So I couldn't decide. I'm not, this is not a political statement going one way or the other. Right. I think it's an important election. Uh, but I'm not going to tell you who I'm voting for. Which side of the menu do you favor? Uh, you got to you know, vote, you got to pick one menu. No, a tenderloin is very good. It's a grass fed tenderloin. I, I, I might also go for the bake, the Palin Baked Alaska. So, you know, and I have to kind of go mix between the two. You're lucky you live in Chicago, so you can vote twice That's in the voting booth. So.